this is Kevin. And where am I today? Well, just in the background, you can see Cynthia's there. Lovely sunny day compared to what it was like yesterday. And we've decided to come into Whitley just to have a quick visit. And we're at the church, and we're at the church of All Saints of Whitley. It's a diocese of Guildford. There's the notice board. And this is the church just in front of us. So we're going to have a wander up here. And just in front of us, we've got these lovely gates. It's called the John Foster Gates. So let's have a wander up here and have a look, see what we can find. Well, if you look at this porch, the slates on the roof are amazing. Just look at those, absolutely incredible. So let's have a wander around the outside of this church now. And I'm, I'm afraid I am quite close to it. As you can see, all the walls have been painted. So all the stonework has been covered up. And you've got the bell tower there, which is a combination of rubble and stone. They've got a bit, a little bit of scaffolding up there. Um, and, the, and the clock face is missing. And then you've got the, the weather vane right at the top there with a cockerel on it. That tells me it's, yeah, the, um, we were working, trying to work out just now how they got to the bell tower and you can see just in front of us that um, round tower, I suppose you would call it, is going up, the, so if you go up inside there, there is a doorway just in this south, south corner. Um, as you can see down at the bottom up into that so they're obviously refurbing all the, the clock faces there's certainly two one is missing completely let me just try and back away from the church a bit and unfortunately i've got to walk through these headstones and the headstones are very very tightly packed together and then up at the top there on the east end of the church you can see a clock face which has clearly been restored and it looks absolutely wonderful so i'm assuming they get down onto that, those taffold, uh, scaffold platforms from above because there's no ladders so they have a they drop a ladder down i would have thought onto the platforms and that's how they reach those but let me just try and squeeze past these Headstones. Look at the size of the buttresses on this on these on this church. They're huge. Probably three or four feet uh, thick. You got the way line there, just in the corner. But let me just back away here and show you how tightly these headstones are all packed together. The base of the headstones in most of them is probably a foot apart and that one just at the bottom there says eight, uh, 1785 Cynthia clicking away with a camera as she always does for me Sorry. that's all right no no you're fine you stay where you are so this is the double um, you've got the chancel here on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you've got the lady chapel but i'm not sure if i actually like 
the way the church has been painted. It stands out, definitely stands out, but I don't know, it just seems a shame that the beautiful stonework has been lost. I'm guessing there was a, a lot of deterioration in the in the walls and the stonework and they've they've done that to try and protect it. So we all oh, come around there's a dip there. This is unusual. We've got a little back porchway here on the north side of the church, which is tucked up into that corner. Let me just see if I can get into here a little bit and show you. There it is, which is rather charming actually. Lovely little porch. And let me just back away through the cemetery again. When you get to the north side of the church, there's a, a rather large cemetery with all these different headstones. Cynthia seems to have found something over there. Let's see if we can get round to it and have a look. There's a little footpath here. Let's have a look, see what we can find over here. Past these trees. Whatever it is, it's tucked away right in the back corner of the churchyard. And what we got here, let's have a look. Oh right, okay. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, look at their ages so. though. 13, 15. Let me just show you this. In memory of the following boys who died while at King Edward's School, Whitley, and are interned in this churchyard. Thomas Newland died September the 21st, 1868, aged 13. William Marshall died June the 25th, 1872, aged 15. And it goes down, you know, ages 12, 13. Let's have a look right the way round. 12, 14, 11, gosh. It goes up to 1935. It's so sad, they're so young. Just look at them. 12 year old John A.P. Ben died October the 17th, 1929, age 12. Thank goodness this side is empty. This memorial was erected by the, by the King Edward School of Whitley, Old Boys Association, May. 1910 and renovated in 2017-18. I don't know about you, Cynthia, but I, <coughs> I find that quite sad. Yeah, me too. I wasn't expecting that. No, no. But lovely that the school is, is remembered there. Ex-pupils. All part of the pupils that have passed away. Gosh. So let's wander back up. That was awful, you know, to see that, that was, I have to be honest, that made me well up. But there's such a mixture of different headstones. Some quite modern, traditional ones here for, for this gentleman here. Just look at these all the way around here. And the cemetery goes right the way up there in that far corner with all these different trees dotted about. Let me take a, just to show you up through there. I've got to be honest, that um, seeing that memorial there for those boys has sort of taken the wind out of my sails a little bit, I've got to be honest. As Cynthia said, when you're walking around these places, it's not, it's not something you expect to see. King Edward School is, when you get back down onto the main road, it's just probably half a mile, three quarters of a mile up the road, heading towards Chiddingfold. But uh, yeah, that was quite, 
That was quite something. Just let me show you this here. From this corner. And I think this is a possibly a footpath that comes through here. And you can see all the all the walls are stone with leaded like windows. Most of them are from the inside um, are stained glass. Just up in this corner of the uh, south side of the church, we've got this incredible tomb. Oops, just right now. Let's just look at this. Now we believe that this is a, a tomb in memory of. That's it. Oh, hang on. Let me come around this side. Eighteen seventeen, aged eighty six. Eighteen. Also his wife. Yeah. And I saw some writing on this side as well. And it said, "Sacred to the memory of Edward Leach, Esquire, who died March the ninth, eighteen forty two, aged seventy nine years. Also Anne, wife of the above, who died June the sixth, eighteen sixteen, aged." I can't read that. 45 years. But that's, that's quite an incredible thing. Let me just wander around this way. And it's got the big sort of lion's feet on the bottom. But the lid has got a big crack in it. So it's uh, quite, I don't think I've quite seen something like that before. Let me just get that date again, because I did. I don't think I. Can. Oh, let me just pop down there. Yeah, John Leach Esquire. Uh, yeah, aged 86 years, and he died in uh, 1847. Looks of it. 16th of April, and Mary, wife of the above, who died April. April the 10th, 1878, aged 71 years. Yeah, quite amazing. Fantastic thing. Just about to go into this amazing porch at the front of the church. And let me just show you around here. Look, look at these fantastic timbers on this porchway. Very, very old. But I'm just going into the centre of the into the into the church itself. And we've got these fantastic huge doors right in front of me. And they've got all these studs and they've got the wonderful ironwork. Cynthia's already inside. <clears throat> and this, as I said, this is All Saints of Whitley. And um, just inside the door, we've got the font. It's got surrounded by lots of stuff here. We've just been talking to Anne Fraser, um, who has been part of this church for about 20, 20 odd years. And we've been talking about the church itself. And we've We've got this fantastic war art. which was uncovered and it's all on the south wall of the church as well which is wonderful but this is the inside of the doors I've just come through but up here right up in the top of the roof there we've got the George the third coat of arms and I'm in the the nave and as people know, I love to look at the timber work in a roof. And this church has got such a variety of 
timbers. We've got the chandeliers just here as I walk through. And the archways going through towards the chancel are absolutely massive. They have stone, the walls are rendered and painted. Just in front of me here is the memorial for World War I with all the names of the people, the men that went off to fight in the war. And I think they said, you know, we spoke to some other people when we came in earlier, and there's, I think they've got a, a peal of eight bells here. And let me just show you, <clears throat> excuse me, let me just show you this roof space here. As I say, completely different from the other one, but incredible. And just look at these pipes for the organ. Absolutely huge. And this is a little village in Surrey. And just in front of me now is the Lady Chapel. Let me show you in here. On the floor here, it's a, a mixture of wood, uh, parquet flooring and tiles. Tucked away in that corner behind that little table is a, 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 a piscina, an ombre. And there's one in either, uh, either chapel. There's the um, stained glass window for the ladies' chapel. And they've got different plaques on the walls, as you see in a lot of churches. Let me just turn around and go back out this to the lady out of the lady chapel. We've got this wonderful stained glass window just in front of me. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get in a bit closer to this so I can really show you what it's like. It is marvellous, absolutely wonderful. Look at the colours, the reds and the blues and these sort of ochres. And I'll come over to this side. And you've got Christ with the angel, sort of angel wings there. Look at the colours in here. The lovely yellows blending into the whites. And on the bottom it says, He is not here, for he is risen. And I'm on the north side of the church at the moment, so I'm just walking through this, this additional piece that was added, I think, in the 80s. To, it creates the cross in the church and then we've got this other bit here and got the, the sun streaming through this this window through this other stained glass window and we've got on the left hand side we've got Christ and on the right we've got three of the disciples and let me take you up towards the chancel and I'll show you this absolutely remarkable roof. Look at this. 
and there's all the different words there. It is absolutely beautiful. I have, you know, on these walks that we've done, we have seen some fantastic roofs, roof spaces. And, but this actually is the best we've ever seen. Just look at this. And just in front of us, on the east end of the church where the altar is, we've got this big stained glass window. And behind the altar, which starts just there, goes all the way round and it's made of marble. And just tucked away there, that's the other Pasina and Ombre that I mentioned just now. Again, we've got all these different plaques on the walls. But look at this flooring here. It's beautiful. Again, it's a stunning thing in this very small village. We've got all the different chairs set, set around here at the moment, and that's because of the, the times we live in at the moment. They have to have separate chairs for certain people. So these are all dotted around here, there and everywhere. But they are getting ready for... They had a wedding here yesterday. Um, which unfortunately was during all that terrible weather we had. And they're planning another one, I think, next week. And as I come back round here, I just wanted to show you this little tiny window, which is set right back into the wall on the south side of the church. And within the recess, you can probably, might be able to just see that there's the artwork that goes all into there as well. It is an incredible church. We've got a creaking door, which I haven't, because I didn't quite shut it properly. But just look at this. Let me just turn around once more and just show you towards the, the chancel and the altar. On the, on the north side, on the north aisle, let me just take you over his, this way. And it tells you all about the 12th century wall paintings. And that's just here. And it explains how you read the south wall with the different uh, wall art or wall paintings. Just come back around this way. And something else I that Cynthia spotted just before we we're about to go out the church, and this is from the Doomsday Book, Anno Domino 1081. And I'm not sure if this camera's going to be able to pick this up properly, but let me just try and get this all in for you.
and that's all that information from the what I could get from the Doomsday book. And uh, forgive me for doing it so slowly, but I wanted to make sure that you actually could s to read the words that was there. If you've enjoyed Kevin's video today, why not subscribe to his Kevin's Rambles YouTube channel, give us a like and follow us in the future and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.